Morning guys. Hope everything's going well for you. So today I thought I would talk about the concept of the statement that I can, I can do it. Um, I did a video here recently after one of my runs where it was sort of this uh, commentary on me making a choice and the choice to either let my depression just absorb me and just defeat me or that I would uh, make a stand and ultimately do something and uh, not let it dominate me during that period of time. But I think more importantly, there's a bigger issue with just the confidence that we have or in, a, in many cases lack that we can get through a situation, that we think we are capable of certain things. I think that's one of the things I've seen and as I've gone through myself and talked with so many of you guys that it amputates hope and it amputates uh, amputates your uh, belief in yourself that, you know what, when times are tough, you just want to just kind of sink into yourself. And the reality is that's completely untrue. Um, I've said numerous times that people that have mood disorders have a tenacity and a strength and an endurance that very few people have. Why is that? It's because we deal with chronic pain, however you want to call it or categorize it, all the time. It doesn't go away. I mean, this isn't something that there's some sort of, you know, permanent treatment that's going to make it disappear. Even with our medication, as much as it's managed, it's there. It's always going to be there. And there's going to always be a certain amount of discomfort. As a result of that, that, that does, it takes some strength to fight that. It does. I mean, clearly there's a faith component that I've mentioned as far as just how you use Christ and fighting that good fight. But because we fight this stuff, we are capable, I think, of not just ordinary things, but extraordinary things. And I don't mean to keep talking about my running, but my running has been a symbolic way that I've fought some of these demons related to my depression. Is that, you know, I believe the reason I did run a marathon is because of my mental illness. I know it. I know that I had the endurance and the capacity to do what I did because of that. I know that I've owned a business and I've had multiple businesses since I was in college for almost the last 20 years. And I know that I've gotten through that because it's taken endurance. And that's something that, again, you look at and you focus on your weaknesses and your, the points where you're really struggling. But inevitably, that's just, that's part of the process. And I think a lot of people that would be out there would normally give up. And I think if we make those choices, you know, we're able to transcend and do things that, again, most people can't do. So I think the idea and this concept of you can, you can do it. You just have to choose, you know, which direction you're going to go. But you have to realize first is that this, you know, disorder or illness, whatever you want to call it, if channeled properly, can fuel amazing things. You know, I've talked about depression channeling it into emotional intelligence and empathy. Uh, bipolar channeling it into creativity. Um, you know, ADHD and so forth in terms of attention to detail and just being careful and so forth. Again, obviously those things fight against some of those things, but the point is, is that the extremes versions of versions of our personality, if we can figure out how to manage it, we have to make that choice that we can do it. And we have to believe that even when it's the worst of the worst, because then instead of sitting on your couch, you'll get up, you'll go do something. You won't let succumb to the untruthful garbage that brings you down. And it's easier said than done. Trust me. I struggle like crazy. You know, it's not easy to make these choices. And there's times where I don't. But I try to always remember that at the end of the day, it's a choice that I have. And I can choose whether to listen to my illness or ultimately go the opposite direction. God bless everybody.